Mozambique, you a country number. Can't remember. Mozambique is a big Southeast African nation, almost four times the size of the UK, with a very, very long coastline. It's often described as Africa's ultimate beach destination, but it has way more to offer than just beaches. Its population of around 30 million people speak over 40 languages, its food inspired Nando's, and its history is as remarkable as it is gruesome. There are many extraordinary places to visit in Mozambique, but every one of my trips has been dominated by Mozambique Island, also known as Ilha de Mozambique in Portuguese, or simply Ilha by its residents. The island itself sits just off the northeast coast of Mozambique, and being roughly three kilometers by 500 meters, it's definitely not big. What it lacks in size, it makes up in just about everything else. Surprisingly, the island plays quite a significant role in the history of Southern Africa and my travels. After all, it was the first place I played the bagpipes in Mozambique. My first trip to Ilia was in 2018 with my other half and it actually began in Malawi, a country that borders Mozambique in the north. Considering the short distance, we figured it was going to be an easy trip, but it ended up being a two-day adventure that involved negotiating our way onto a Zimbabwe-bound bus, a couple of tuk-tuk rides, an hour-long flight, and then a handful of journeys in a chapa, aka a Mozambican minivan. Basically, Ilia isn't the easiest place to get to, but it's worth every minute of your journey. According to tradition and local historians, Ilia has been inhabited for over a thousand years and was originally called Omo Hipiti. Arab traders arrived in the 10th century, followed by Portuguese colonizers in the 15th century, who supposedly renamed the island after a local Arab leader called Ali Musa Mbiki. Over the years, the use of the name Mozambique has been extended to refer to not just the island, but the area and country that we now know. Nowadays, the Makua make up the largest community on Ila and its surrounding villages. Music is a big part of Makua culture, so for a traveling musician, it was a pretty cool experience. One of our favorite mornings was actually spent in the village of Capaceda Pequena, just opposite Ilha on the mainland. The community were hosting a concert and they suggested I bring the bagpipes. Hey, Hali. Alhamdulillah. Mozambique Island might seem like an idyllic paradise with a romantic history, but the reality is very different. It acted as the capital of the colony of Portuguese East Africa for many years, and it was a prominent slave port. There is now a memorial garden on the island which sits in the old ruins of a warehouse, similar to one that would have been used to store slaves before they were transported to the Americas. In 1898, Ilha lost its prominence, population and industry when the capital was moved south to what is current day Maputo. During Mozambique's civil war, many people moved back to Ila, and in 1991, the entire island was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tourism is now one of the largest industries on Ila, and understandably so given how incredible the island is. Also, it turns out the surrounding waters are a birthing site for humpback whales. <laughs> 